What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here, and we're going to pick up with the Beastmen. We are nearing the end here. I do appreciate the comments. Thank you much for the kind words. They are appreciated. Otherwise, things are going to get pretty crazy before too long here, because our caravan will be approaching the home base and I'm still torn but I might go and just fire up the ship engine before they make it you see we're only one herd or sorry sarsen stone short of having the entire collection for the beast men uh, it is winter so I'm just gonna harvest everything I can a lot of stuff uh, actually we're gonna chop trees we're short on that but it's also time to do big harvests as well it's only 41 though and it's midwinter so most like I'm gonna leave the trees around the herdstone I think it looks cool and it's fitting to have trees these guys are 2.8 days away from their destination uh, torn on smashing these guys we have stuff we could offer them but do we need to they're mad at us and I want some tribals mad at us for the end game because when you have a massive kill box they're a much easier threat to deal with than dudes with grenades and firearms so Let's go that route. Anyway, things are uh, full in storage here. We never made proper storage, but that's okay. I'm going to triple up some walls here in anticipation of the end game. I'm also going to break the base apart into sections. Um, I don't think I'm going to do it here, but on the right side I am. And then also I've done it on the left side. I'm also going to place some turrets around that will keep skyfallers from landing in spots that we don't want them in. And I think that's worthwhile. If you cover everything with a turret radius, it does uh, make them less likely to appear. So let's do it. We have the material. Seems like a good idea to me. Uh, Zrad, our ogre, is being carried due to illness. I think Zrad is the ogre yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. All right. Uh, so there's a whole shitload of mad phoenixes. <clears throat> We can probably get everybody inside and get the doors closed here. We're going to have to send Gazkex over here up north. Oh, we got somebody down south. Serpent Hide's lurking. That's perfect. The guy that acquired magic by eating a Jabber's live tongue. <laughs> Those people are very few, very far in between. There we go. We should be safe inside our walls. We can't complete the triple walling, but that's okay. We have some time before we need to get it done anyway. So, where to go from there? Work inside. We're harvesting trees uh, galore. I'm not sure the temp's going to get low enough. I'll need to harvest the crops. The wealth is pretty significant and is what it is, I guess. There's a lot of stuff we can burn, destroy. I did put it on the list to make a new statue, like sculpture of the beast men that will use those unused Sigor stones. And we continue to be hounded by mad phoenixes. Not terribly surprising, but there it is. <laughs> a lot of meat rotting away because food storage is inadequate. There's way more here than we need. I think we have enough for the end game with the cauldrons since they don't use a ton to produce a meal. I'm torn on what to do here if we ever get some psychoid plants. The psychoid plants. Um, be able to do something with it anyway so we might as well and we're growing a ton of it all right so they did breach containment <laughs> they are getting into the base so that's a potential problem i think we can probably just bail and leave them in here if i turn off those guns or turrets they probably won't even attack these guys would be easy enough to bring down and there's still some traps to hold them a lot of explosions in the trap corridor <sighs> <laughs> Hopefully they don't destroy too many guns. <laughs> Turret guns, I should say. They're not even coming for us. I don't it looks like they catch on fire once in a while, but they're walking over the fire with no issues. Now they are maddened, so they do drop eggs for whatever that's worth. Our doors are catching on fire. Rhinoceros meat's rotting away like mad. Won't be long. Oh they're they're all down, dead. Next problem is we got some that aren't dealt with here. They're still struggling, and then they blow up. One of our guys just got it. So they did leave us a ton of eggs. can smash it. I don't know what that'll do. Maybe it'll explode. 
Or maybe it'll just destroy it. I don't know. I'm going to put those in here and we'll just, maybe they explode at some point. We can use them to start fires in there. We'll figure that out when we get there. And uh, we ended up with quite a few of those, like 12 or 15 or something. So maybe somebody will buy them. Who knows? If we could get a trader on foot anyway. We do have some allies. Once they put them all in here, we'll do a count on how many we ended up with. We can butcher these babies too, the ones that didn't rot. So anyways, it's back to work. We're going to make some shells because we know we're going to get some more machines. Our uh, caravan is bringing in. I have to push the wall back here because it's, there's not enough room for war machines. This one is struggling, but not yet dead. So we're just going to try and avoid that area. All right, point one days to our destination there. I think we're doing okay, though. We've struck mineable saltpeter, which is kind of worthless in all honesty, but there you go. All right, they've reached the destination. Another trade is in order. What can we do for food? We bought two boots of speed. We have tons of money. We don't want to end up with any money, and we have all kinds of random crap to sell. Components are going to be worthwhile. If I could carry steel, I'd bring a ton of steel with, but we can't really carry too much of it. So where do we go next? We can head over here and do some more trading. It's 4.8 days away. We have 5.3 days of food. Or we could just scrap that whole plan and get on the attack and wrap this baby up. You can see we've taken out a ton of trees. We've got the walls done in the south. And this dude's still hanging on, unconscious, uh, malnutrition. I think it's going to be the infection that takes him out. He's at 97%. <laughs> Probably we should be ready for a fire so we don't lose too many traps. Our steel supplies are at 3681. Not bad. Not bad at all, but uh, uh oh, there you go. <laughs> I was ready for that. And they rush out to deal with the fire. Oh my god. Look at that. I think all the eggs hatched in here. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we have 12 phoenixes in our storage room now. Uh, I don't know what we can't. If we go in there and kill them, they're all going to blow up, which may be a fine thing. Maybe the Skaven will show up. We'll find a way to make a manhunter. I was mining a, I'm going to mine a back tunnel. You can see up at the top there. Uh, so that we can let those guys loose. There we go. You can see it. So we can mine a back tunnel, put up some temporary walls, and just let them outside. <laughs> I don't know. Just clearly, we shouldn't be dragging those eggs inside. Yeah, see, we can just hold this open. I may have to make some other temporary walls, but this little area is enclosed, so it should be fine, assuming we can never get that mine through. I'm used to dwarfs who just mine like beasts. There's even more eggs in there, actually. <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna I'm making kibble. We're just gonna feed them so they don't die and explode. <laughs> That's an interesting problem to have. It seems very fitting for Rimworld and for Beastmen. Ah, ignorance, people. <laughs> that exposes my own. All right, we need to get the psychite going wide open here. Assuming we end up with psychoid leaves, we can make tea. That'll give everybody an outlet for their chemical interests and chemical needs and all that. Yeah, what do we got going on with the ship? I think it's time. Should I do it? Those are, Yeah. So I'm torn, but I think I will. There we go. It started. And the raids. <laughs> they don't hesitate. Oh, shit. So I think what we're going to play it out here is that slug pelt decided they're going to take the ship and leave the planet and they're not going to wait for those other dicks to show up because why would they they're beast men and this is about betrayal and <laughs> chaos right so that seems very fitting okay what do we got i'm going to restrict everybody to inside just in case and we're going to have ourselves a battle we do have some mortars here we can man for whatever it's worth and i don't think that's very much but if we can drop a few, there's a lot of Minotaur here. Fuck ton of Minotaur. This is going to be a tough battle. If they get to us, we're going to take a massive beating. So those Minotaur weapons are no joke. And, uh, oh, we actually hit somebody. Call the freaking cops on that. Let's see. Yeah, okay. They're just going to keep shooting. Everybody else is going to kind of ignore. God, these mortars suck. What's the point with the barrels? Like... If you have to go through all this stuff for the barrels, let's madden all the animals around. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, God, we got people in the tunnels yet. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> ah, fucking beast, man. This is glorious. 
It's nice not giving a shit about any of your pawns because it's all just kind of comical when it happens. Uh, I'd say we're going to be in trouble here. I can't even control Tyrant. He's on fire. He's not, he's not listening. There's fire blocking our path. Okay, we got the fire out. Now maybe we can get these guys to safety. Nope, they're not going through that fire. And there's more eggs. All right, we're going to charge in and see if we can't save these guys. Oh, oh man. We got a battle with Minotaur about to happen, and we're busy battling these dicks. Oh, friendlies. Was that friendlies? Oh, <laughs> yes, the Under Empire has come to save us. It's glorious. We also have pawns rushing in here to put out the fires, <clears throat> which is not ideal. It's such a big space. Turns out it never actually heats up like I thought that it would. So if you're going to try and burn out your caves like I was planning, you need to make smaller areas than what I did. Saber is burning and burning and burning, and uh, he needs to get put out tyrants on fire as well. Ah, uh, gosh, there's a lot of them deceased, but whatever. All right, look at this. The Skaven are getting their asses kicked, and they're fleeing everywhere. No, oh, no, don't hit a friendly with that mortar, please. <laughs> I think it's too late. All right, the Skaven are running. They stood no, no chance against those dudes. Can we just get everybody out of here? I need to, they're all trying to put out the fucking fires. It's driving me bananas. All right, well, the Skaven didn't last long. Um... I guess we unrestrict and go for it. Maybe we can do some stuff with our magic. And The mortars are clearly worthless. You guys go do something else, maybe. That's just meaningless. I guess they look like they're coming for us now. We have people well wounded from the battle with the phoenixes. <laughs> oh, jeez. Man, those Skaven were worthless. Minotaur are pretty tough. Again, they're no joke. Uh, where are they going? They're chasing catch down. That's probably for the best. We'll get a lot of weapons. Maybe we'll get some good steel piles res recovered from smelting all these weapons they're leaving us. I don't see us. There's one Minotaur. They killed one Minotaur over there. Skaven or Vertlos. That's German for worthless. <laughs> Fucking hey. All right. Some of them are going for the top traps, so that's good. All right. Look at that. Some of them are fleeing, too. Nice. Here they come. Open up with the turrets. Oh, I'm going to try and reserve the magic. If we had a miscast, it wouldn't be good for us. All right, two batches of these dicks are running. All right, well, it didn't take too much. They're just fleeing now. So I could try and capture them. I'm not going to bother. A lot of stuff's burning out there. I don't know if we really want all that stuff burning. There's meals. There's all kinds of interesting stuff. We need to do a lot of construction. That's got to be a priority to get things put back together ASAP here. So I'm going to promote all constructors with any decent skill or passion we're just going to go on the attack so let's say that these that, that the war herd got wind that the ship's been fired up and they have decided to scrap any additional trading efforts they're simply going to try and make their way back and get on the ship and take control properly and the cloven ones have shown up again it looks like they're dropping out of the sky on us here so get ready for it. Good thing we placed turrets all around. Let's go protect the important shit. I don't know if there's any inside. Doesn't look like there is. This is like the ideal map for defending a ship. You couldn't have picked a better ship location for this in terms of defending it. Um, so the game was very generous to me on that one. But anyways, here they come. I don't think it'll be too long before they're running away. We got most of our traps rebuilt. And... Yeah, they're eating them. They're eating them good. I don't know if the animals count towards the flea flea number, but I suspect they do. First two to make it through always just get walloped. That razor gore, those are pretty tough. I might lose a actually lose a well, we lost two turrets there. Oh, they're coming right for us. <laughs> Somebody do something. There we go. Once the shotguns fire up. Oh, everybody hated that dude. Or <laughs> everybody was very happy when he expired. All right, I don't want too many doors getting destroyed. I'm going to rush out. All right, I think we're good on that one, too. Just a lot of rebuilding again. And, uh, yeah, we're doing great. We're going to get more phoenixes over there. These guys have 3.2 days of food left. But they are collecting food like crazy on the road, so we should be just fine. I, I'm not going to try and even imprison anybody and recruit unless I get an inspired recruitment. It doesn't make sense to spend all that time when uh, we can just... We don't need them. So, 
yeah, quite a few days left, but that's okay. We'll get there. And it's nighttime, sadly, <laughs> to put all of our rebuilding efforts aside for the moment. I'm going to not do any more sewing. Oh, my God, there's 10 more phoenixes in here. Phenai. We haven't managed to mine through to let them escape either. We could just, lit that's like, you can harvest those dudes for food, let the eggs hatch, harvest them all again, because we had 12 before, and now we got 10. That's pretty bananas. What do we make? We're, we're going to burn some textiles. I'm going to try and reduce the wealth here. I should have done it before, but. And we're also going to burn resources, any gems, any really expensive shit we don't need or want, sulfur, uranium. Uh, warp stone's expensive, but if somebody comes along to trade, we're not going to want to get rid of that. We're going to do all those things 50 times, so that's going to massively reduce the amount of stuff we have on hand. 12 more days, and we'll be ready to fly out here. I'm building bonfires around the herd stone because it looks badass, <laughs> and we have tons of wood now, so why not? All right, we've made it to the next Empire Castle we're going to assault, so once again, we will try to avoid mortars and... Where the hell's it at? Oh, you suck. That was awesome. We dodged it. I figured out why the base floors aren't showing up. I've said that a few episodes ago. So the mod I'm using for this playthrough is the Steam version, not the local version. So dumbass me. Um, just didn't consider that. But that's what's going on. If you, I'm, I'm not using the local version. I don't know why for the Empire. It's the Empire mod that's the one in question here. But... We, uh, I'm not releasing it to Steam right now because of the massive update pending, but that we're very, very close at this point, and I've been busting ass on it every day. So the new massive castle walls are going to be fucking glorious. Sad wonder for Gulak, whatever. Oh, damn, someone just got flattened. Zedog got flattened. Hopefully we still have some uh, ways to revive them. All right, well, there's the mortar right there. Get his ass. Get him good. Don't let him get away. Get him. All right, they're swarming us. We're going to have to do something intelligent here. All right, that guy's done. Oh, gosh. All right. Oh. I us undraft and see if they do the right thing, which the only problem is you can't control the dangerous weapons, which you really need to keep fucking tight lid on what those things are doing. Don't fire it well. Fire it. Carl over there, whatever the hell his name is. There we go. We're going to have some fire problems if we do end up sacking this base. Uh, it's just people running everywhere. I see a... looks like Dirtle has a mental break, but I don't actually think he does. Let's shoot back there at those guys. Can we see him? Burning walls. Somebody needs rescue. Bam! It's done. Base destroyed. Gift of the gods. Let's get out of here. There's too much fire. We have a lot of people down. There's the final destruction quest just fired because we do have all of the herd stones. Holy shit, those battles, I tell you. So this is a beacon sarsen with lintel. It's not going to go there. I'm going to have to move a different one over here and put this one down. So if you want, this one will increase your raids, but it'll also increase the number of joiners you get. So it sort of amps up the events that are firing due to the hearthstone, but with a focus on the various joiner events. So let's get this place in hand. It's, uh, Silverbane's still battling. Strongcoat's battling. These two are about to start. Sh no, let's not. Let's, okay, yeah, that one's. Let's not blow ourselves up anymore, people. Jeez Louise. We have a lot of exploring to do. This is a slightly different base than I remember seeing before, so that's pretty cool. I don't know if I'll spend the time to go back and remake all the Empire bases with, after the update, but it would be nice too. We'll have these awesome castle walls that are three by three tiles. We're going to bring this dude back to life. He's the only casualty we had in terms of death. <laughs> so there you go. We still had we still had Wand of Resurrection, so why not leverage it? We need to start exploring this place. There's a lot of bedrooms around. There's a crematorium over there. What else do we have? <laughs> There's just beds laying around randomly, too. I don't know how that bed got there. <laughs> Either way, lots of stuff, lots of bedrooms, lots of food. This is perfect, so we should have no problem making it to our final destination. And everybody's tended. We do have some humies we can finish off. We could bring them with us to our final goal and convert them into ungoers, but... Seems like too much work at this point when really we just are trying to get off this rock. Whoa, man, 
those battles are ferocious. I swear to God, I do more damage with my own weapons than the enemy does to me. Outside of the occasional mortar blast, that's the one that's killed a handful of people. But again, once the mod releases to Steam, the floors will be fixed. I know it looks like shit right now. I work hard on this stuff, but this one's out of my hand. My my guy that does images for me wants everything to stay on lockdown until after everything's done, so we release it all at once. So I'm going to honor that since we're both working for free, and that's his request. So we have 1.4 days to this next trade location and plenty of food to make it. 2.6 days total till we get to our final location. And... How many days left on the ship? Last time I checked, it was 12. So look at that, though. I'm going to move some stuff around here. Let's get, let's uh, let's make this look prettier. I can do that. <laughs> I think I should. Some of them are bigger. Some of them are smaller. I did my best for variety and interest and visual appeal. Fucking Beastman Stonehenge, people. Where are you going to find something like that? There we go. I moved some stuff around. Looks fantastic. Badass. Uh, infections. Look at... Oh, there's the final destruction quest as well. Where is available quests? There it is, active final. So here's the final Beastman quest if you want to win the game as Beastman. And there's a nearby giant castle. So should our ship get destroyed, we're just immediately going to pack everybody up, walk 3.1 days, and have a massive fucking battle. <laughs> and win or lose, that's going to be the end. So <laughs> this one is winding down, people. But please leave me a like if you're enjoying. Leave a comment. I read them all. I do respond. 11 days left on the ship. Appreciate you being here and spending some time with me today. I do love you all. And I'll see you next time.